I think we need more celebration in the world. We do. And you know, and this is really something I think that more I said that this was going to be something we all had to work through, which is, you know, there's a lot of depression going on right now. Right. And I, my, a lot of my friends are having trouble, and myself included, with seasonal affective disorder mm -hmm. too. It's. I mean, we've been in lockdown. Yep. We really haven't had a lot to look forward to. So. I was watching Good Morning America and there was an, an amazing video that was done. It was put together by um, a bunch of mental health professionals yep. and I would love to share it because I think it's something that is going on and I do think it helps to talk about it. And then we have some tips from an OSU psychiatrist. Absolutely. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Okay, Chris, Dr. Samar McCutcheon, she's a psychiatrist at OSU. She was on the show that day, and she gave some just five quick tips that maybe to help you cope, and I just, I think we should share them. Scheduling one-on-one -on -one time with friends and family. I think one-on-one -on -one time is important. It gives us something to look forward to. Don't be afraid, she says, to see a therapist. Resist the urge to drink. So basically she said put down the wine, which yep. I hear you, that's me. Get outside and de-stress. And then she said that there's something to be said about light therapy. And I have a vitamin D lamp I got on Amazon, and I think it helps. But also, when things get serious, there are a bunch of resources out there. Let's take a look, let's share them. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can also text the crisis line. There is a trans lifeline, and then the Trevor Project, where some of the also um, resources she shared. Dr. Krishman wrote yep. a blog for us, which is going to be, on, it's posted on the buzz. So we're going to kind of be hitting, we're going to be hitting this from a lot of angles because it does help to talk about it. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with feeling down. We've been in a nope. pandemic. People have lost their jobs. Like, but together, I think, I mean, not to be cliche, but together everyone achieves more. Mm -hmm. And I, I, think, I that, think it makes it feel better. I think that the big thing here is that's why, you know, we have different venues that keep put, putting people together. You yeah. know, I think networking, utilizing your team. That's why it's really important when we say community, we really have to be a community. We have to make sure we're looking out for each other. And that's what we do like every morning at 9 a.m. And I don't know if yeah. a lot of you that have tuned in know anything about Rise and Grind, but that's why we get together is because it is that check-in. It is that time that we can all see what is going on and check in on each other. And I do think that we can continue to continue to be that big community. If you haven't taken a look at Rise and Grind, if you don't know what it is, take a look at this quick promo. It's Rise and Grind. Rise and Grind. Rise and Grind. I will tell you right now, all of you that get up each and every day, you're better because you're here. You're better because you support each other. Get your ass up. Okay, morning. Rise and Grind is really just kind of like getting that mindset in the, in the morning. I love playing music. I love my playlist. I love going out there, like talking to people in the morning. Uh, it kind of gets you focused. It kind of gets you hyped. That's what this tribe is about. Yeah, we go out there and sell some amazing stuff. Yes, but you know what? We go out there and we work together. I can't believe 
every day I wake up and I say to myself, I pinch myself and say, you know what? I got the best freaking job in the world. You know why? Because I get to work with you. Remember, 9 o'clock every day is Rise and Grind. Do not forget, because we get up every day, we're talking about how you're ready to go out there and win the day.